every day at noon, organ music fills St. Michael's Church in Hamburg. From the central organ, Jörg Endebrock can control several others. Long before there were concert halls or opera houses, music was played in churches, including in the Michel, as people from Hamburg call their church. For centuries, this was the first symbol of the port city that sailors saw from afar. The church organs of St. Michael's. This is where our musical journey through Hamburg begins. The city has a rich musical history and an exciting present. I will take you to the Elbphilharmonie, to clubs across the city and to many other places. We filmed in early March 2020, before the Corona lockdown. My first stop, the Elbphilharmonie, Hamburg's new concert hall, which opened in 2017. As you can see from the brick base, this was once a warehouse. It became a concert hall with this spectacular glass structure. The Elbphilharmonie offers guided tours to visitors. Swiss architects Herzog and de Moreau created unusual sightlines in the stairwell and foyer. Here we are in the main concert hall with 2,100 seats. Behind us is the so-called white skin. It's important for the acoustics. The cavities reflect the sound around the hall. Many love the sound here, but some don't. Einige kommen damit nicht so ganz klar. There are a few who feel the sound to be too analytical. But the Vienna Philharmonic, for example, could probably play in the Antarctic and still produce a warm sound. So I always think it's not about the room, but rather the way music is played and how people perceive it. I'm lucky. The Vienna Philharmonic, who will be performing in Hamburg tonight, are rehearsing before the concert. in the Reeperbahn, played by Stefanie Hempel. She always has a ukulele with her when she is showing fans the San Pauli district. Believe it or not, the Beatles' career took off here in Hamburg. You start to sing and here comes the sun. George Harrison's with us. St. Pauli is more than just a red-like district with bars. There are also many clubs, like the Indra. It was here that the Beatles gave the very first performance in Hamburg in 1960. They were complete amateurs, a fourth choice band. Only because three other bands from Liverpool couldn't make it were the Beatles sent to Hamburg as a quick fix. I have photos with me, all of them still had Elvis hairdos. 
A murmur often goes through the group when I show them this pic, 18-year-old Paul. Then we have 17-year-old George Harrison. I really like this photo because folks always said he was the youngest lad with the biggest hair. They played at the Indra for three months, from 7 p.m. to 5 a.m. They hadn't composed their own music yet, so they played rock and roll songs from the 50s. And they lived here. This used to be a movie theater, and the old Bambi cinema was the Beatles' first residence. They lived in little rooms without windows or heating. They were here until the end of November, so it was really cold. They had to bathe in the men's room. So they quickly gave this place the nickname the Black Hole of Calcutta. <laughs> Eventually, both the clubs and the accommodation got better. After the Indra, the Beatles played for 50 nights at the Kaiserkeller. They performed for sailors, rockers and gangsters because rock and roll came to Hamburg with the seafarers. Back then, ships' layovers were much longer and sailors came from around the world. Americans and Scandinavians wanted live music, rock and roll, but they weren't any good rock bands in Hamburg, so they brought them over from England, and bands from Liverpool came cheap. This is where the Beatles met Ringo Starr, who later took over from Pete Best as drummer. Next, we head to the legendary Star Club. The venue burned down in the 80s. But a plaque still lists all the big names who performed here. And guess who played at the opening in 1962? That's right, the Beatles. By then, they were already wearing suits and had their iconic mop-top haircuts. What did Hamburg mean for the Beatles? The world's most renowned Beatle author, Mark Lewison, put it bluntly, no Hamburg, no Beatles. They performed more here than anywhere else, playing for over 1,200 hours in the clubs and honing their craft. Here they became a professional live band. Here they met Ringo Starr. Here they acquired their style, their image, their mop tops. Or, as John Lennon said, we grew up in Hamburg, not Liverpool. One, two, three, four! Well, she was just 17. It was at the Star Club that the Beatles performed their own songs for the first time. Stephanie plays one of her favorites. And before too long, I fell in love with her. San Pauli has turned on its lights. People are queuing in front of the clubs in the Reeperbahn. I'm going to the Molotov Club to meet the young British band King Nun. I joined them backstage. Hi, I'm Nathan. I'm James. I'm Caius. And I am Theo. And we are King Nun. This is, this is, this is true. It's your second time in Hamburg, right? Yeah, it is, yeah. How yeah. do you like it here? Uh, wonderful. The last time we were here, we had um, a, uh, a, a typically, um, for Europe, incredible audience, um, uh, engaged and excited audience, and uh, I hope we'll see something similar tonight. Yeah, you know that the Beatles um, yeah. made a big step in Hamburg? Mm. Oh yeah, so, so, so just around the corner is where they practiced um, over and over again, or they played the show again. What exactly is the story? I have not. Indra? They just played, I think they were house band, and they just played and played and played and played. Our That's why there's the statues outside. Right, our photographer was, was explaining, we actually hadn't heard of this before, but our photographer was explaining uh -huh. it to us, and she said something that, uh, she said uh, they became the Beatles here. And we, yeah. and we said, what a great way to put it, that's fantastic. Yeah, it's how, like a lot of history happening here, musical yeah. history. Yeah. I mean, how, how lucky we are to be here. Will King Nan one day become the new Beatles? Who knows? 
As I said, we shot all this before the outbreak of the corona pandemic in March 2020. Let's hope that soon we will be able to go to the clubs and concert halls all over the world again without any worries. Take care and see you soon.